Today we're going to talk about carbon monoxide in your forklift. Uh, we, I want you to be aware of the hazard when you're using a forklift inside of a building uh, or in a confined space. Uh, dangerous levels of carbon monoxide can build up quickly. Now, uh, this particularly during the winter time becomes an issue. C, uh, CO or carbon monoxide is a poison, poisonous gas that can cause nausea and dizziness. In high concentrations, it can be fatal because it's impossible to smell, taste, or see carbon monoxide. It's crucial that you be aware of its dangers and do as much as you can to avoid overexposure before symptoms occur. Uh, the problem is that forklifts that are powered by gasoline, propane, and diesel fuel emit carbon monoxide in their exhaust. Now, in tightly insulated or enclosed areas, uh, high concentrations of Carbon monoxide can remain for several hours after the last entry by a forklift. Emissions are worse from vehicles that are not tuned up, but even in a new factory tuned vehicle, uh, you can have problems with it creating uh, a carbon monoxide problem if it's used in an unventilated environment. So what are the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning? Carbon monoxide interferes with the blood's ability to carry oxygen. As carbon monoxide accumulates in the blood, less and less oxygen is carried to the body and the brain, which need oxygen to survive. Low exposures can cause slight uh, headaches as concentrations increase, weakness and dizziness may occur. High exposures can cause nausea, vomiting, confusion, collapse, coma, and even death. So be alert for carbon monoxide poisoning year round, especially during the winter months when doors and windows are closed and ventilation is reduced. If you suspect carbon monoxide poisoning, don't wait for symptoms to worsen. Headaches or dizziness during or after forklift operation should be reported immediately. And then reduce the risk. You can do several things to reduce your exposure to carbon monoxide. Uh, drive smart, avoid racing the engine, braking erratically, idling for long periods, and jerky operation of the hydraulic systems. All of these increase uh, carbon monoxide emissions. The cold starts generate higher carbon monoxide concentrations, so avoid storing or parking forklifts in cold areas to reduce um, warm-up time and exhaust gases. Make sure the equipment's properly tuned up. Ask whether your vehicle can be fitted with a catalytic converter to redu reduce uh, carbon monoxide emissions. So a lot of the stuff that we get is rental equipment, so it comes as, as is. That's rather difficult for us. Whenever possible, don't leave your forklift running inside a uh, cl enclosed or semi-enclosed space like a parking garage or, or anything like that. Remember, hazardous concentrations build up very quickly in these places that have poor ventilation. Try to make sure the area of use is adequately and properly ventilated. So try to be alert uh, to the dangers of carbon monoxide exposure. Practice responsible driving techniques to reduce uh, CO buildup and encourage your workers to do, uh, your co-workers to do the same.